Hi, my name is Joyce Graves, Diabetes Educator with ThetaCare. The topic of this video is to show you how to draw up and inject insulin using a vial and a syringe. Oftentimes, insulin injections are necessary as a part of uh, diabetes management. The insulin that is injected is a synthetic hormone that either substitutes or supplements the insulin that your pancreas is unable to keep up with in controlling blood sugar levels. There are different types of insulin, some that are long acting that maybe last for about 24 hours, others that are fast or short acting that have to be taken before meals, and there are some that are a combination of both types. Some insulins are clear, others are cloudy, and an important step that you need to know prior to giving your injection is that if you are using a cloudy insulin, it has to be mixed evenly so that you're getting the right concentration. It is also important for you to know what type of insulin you're on, what the dose is, and also when and how often to take it. So uh, storage of insulin, depending on whether it's been opened or not, if your insulin has uh, been unopened, it can be stored in the refrigerator. But once you open it, it can be left at room temperature, but check with your instructions because uh, even once it's opened, it does have an expiration date. And different types of insulin have different expiration dates. So to prepare for the injection, you first want to make sure that your hands are clean and then get your supplies ready. And what you'll need is your insulin vial, You'll need an alcohol swab, or you can choose to use rubbing alcohol with cotton balls. And then you'll need a specific syringe that is meant for insulin use. Now, there are different sizes of, of insulin syringes. This one holds up to 30 units, this one 50, this one 100 units. So depending on the amount of insulin that you're going to take, you want to make sure that you have the right syringe. Then. If you're using a cloudy insulin, as I mentioned, you want to make sure that it's mixed well. So usually a good way to do that is to turn your bottle on its side and just gently roll it back and forth a few times uh, to make sure, again, that it's evenly mixed. And you don't want to shake it too much because it's more likely that you'll cause bubbles to form on the inside of the, the vial and then more likely to draw bubbles into the syringe. So uh, we'll then take the alcohol swab and wipe off the top of that bottle. And take off, you've got two caps on here. One, a back cap that uh, covers the plunger and the top cap that covers the needle. Your next step, and a very important step, is that you want to draw up the air into the syringe that matches the amount of insulin that you're going to take. So let's practice with 15 units. So I will draw air into the syringe. I measure the tip of that plunger with a marker that's, that says 15. And then taking that needle and pushing it through the rubber stopper of the insulin vial, you'll push that air into the bottle. Again, that just makes it easier to draw your insulin out. Then at this point, you have to turn that bottle upside down and somewhat hold the vial and your syringe with one hand so that you have this hand free to pull back on the plunger. Now, if you notice that you're pulling air bubbles into that, just give it a good push back in, and usually that will clear it of any air. But if it continues to, you continue to pull air, again, continue to do that step until as you pull it slowly out, you don't see any air bubbles in the syringe. Now, air bubbles take up space. You know, they're not going to hurt you, but uh, you wouldn't be getting the right amount of insulin. So once I've uh, seen that I don't have any air bubbles, again, I line the tip of that plunger up to the 15, and then you pull your needle out. This will seal itself. Now you're ready for your injection. 
Uh, typically, for best absorption, uh, the abdomen is a good place to choose. And I'm going to use this as a demonstration. So depending on the amount of fatty tissue you have on your body, you may choose to pull up a fold of skin or pinch up a fold. Otherwise, it's not necessary. And then take your needle, go straight in, slowly push that insulin in till it's, you've pushed the plunger all the way in. And then wait for about 10 seconds before you pull that needle out so that it allows that insulin to absorb. After the 10 seconds, pull it straight out. If you notice a little seepage or bleeding, just apply a little light pressure, but you don't want to rub it too vigorously because that can cause that insulin to absorb faster than what it's meant to. As far as uh, this disposal of needles, don't bother with putting a cap back on. You're best to just throw the whole syringe into a specially marked sharps container or a store bought container that you can get at most pharmacies or drug stores. If you're going to make your own, it's recommended that it be a heavy plastic bleach bottle or detergent bottle with a screw cap and then label it with sharps. And then there are certain sharps collection stations that you can drop it off at once it gets filled up. So this concludes my video on drawing up and injecting insulin with a vial and syringe. If you have any additional questions or would like more information on the management of diabetes, please contact one of our many diabetes educators within Theta Care. We would be happy to help you.